Hello friends, welcome to AI Medical School. So in today's video, we are going to talk about levofloxacin drug, which is a fluoroquinolone antibiotic. Stop! If you haven't subscribed to the channel, so subscribe to it and press the bell icon for the latest videos. Levofloxacin is a fluoroquinolone antibiotic available for oral or intravenous administration. Levofloxacin is the optically active L isomer of afloxacin. It has a slightly longer half life than afloxacin and can be administered once daily. Levofloxacin is more active than afloxacin against Staphylococca I and Streptococca I. Levofloxacin is FDA approved for the treatment of sinusitis, chronic bronchitis, community acquired pneumonia skin and skin structure infections, complicated urinary tract infections and acute polonephritis. Its tablets and injection were FDA approved for the treatment of these infections on December 20, 1996. It inhibits bacterial DNA gyrus, a type 2 toposomerus. Toposomeruses alter DNA by introducing superhelical twists into double-stranded DNA and by facilitating the unwinding of DNA strands. Now indications. Levofloxacin is primarily indicated in conditions like acute polonephritis or prostatitis, bronchiolitis, bronchitis, complicated uterus, folliculitis, nephrogenic and partial pituitary diabetes insipidus, edema, otitis externa, pneumonia, polonephritis, respiratory tract infections, short-term treatment of severe congestive heart failure, and skin and soft tissue infections. Contraindication. Levofloxacin is contraindicated in conditions like hypersensitivity. Now the important part of video, side effects. The severe or irreversible adverse effects of levofloxacin, which give rise to further complications, include Stevens-Johnson syndrome, epidermal necrolysis, tendon rupture, and QT prolongation. Levofloxacin produces potentially life-threatening effects which include anaphylaxis, which are responsible for the discontinuation of levofloxacin therapy. The signs and symptoms that are produced after the acute overdosage of levofloxacin include QT prolongation. The symptomatic adverse reactions produced by levofloxacin are more or less tolerable, and if they become severe, they can be treated symptomatically, these include flatulence dizziness, diarrhea, anxiety, restlessness, constipation, abdominal pain, confusion, pruritus, vaginitis, hallucination, dyspepsia, depression, nightmares, chest pain, hypoglycemia, confusion, dizziness, and dyspepsia. The warnings are, levofloxacin should be used with caution in patients with epilepsy, kidney disease, tendon problems, nervous system disorders, liver disease and any allergy, including drug allergy. It should be used with caution while driving or performing tasks requiring alertness because it causes dizziness, lightheadedness, or drowsiness. Limit alcohol intake. Because this may cause sensitivity to the sun, so avoid prolonged sun exposure, wear protective clothing and use sunscreen when outdoors. Caution is advised when this drug is used in children under 18 years of age. It should be used only when clearly needed during pregnancy. It is not recommended during lactation. The high-risk groups are, drugs should not be given to pediatrics, pregnant mothers, and neonates. If prescribing authority justifies the benefits of the drug against the possible damages he or she should reevaluate them and consult the reference material and previous studies. Now the dosage. The adult dose is 250 to 500 mg. Single dose, 380 mg. Frequency, 12 hourly. Root, oral. And for the IV root we use 500 mg. Now the brands are Levoxin, Levofin, Leflox, Kravit. That's it for now, I hope you liked the video, if you found this video helpful, so don't forget to press subscribe button. Thanks for watching.